Yo, it's your boy Arnold Pacino. Shout out to the Progress Report. The Progress Report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepard. This is the Progress Report. Balls Brit the most lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. Um, we got my man Honorable C Note in the Honorable building. C-Note. 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 Let me they say this. Crazy. Wait, my mom, my mom has sent me uh, a drop. Wait, let me see. Uh, I think I got it. Wait. <laughs> wow, my mama sent me that Your shit. Your mama she lit, man. She sounded like, like the like, drop. I'm about to take that for the new drop for real, man. Dang. But even my homegirl, though, like, everybody know your shit. Yeah. And, you know, you know yeah. I got to give my uh, my special introduction for people that, you know, I feel like I personally know. But, so, you know, like, when I first came to Atlanta and shit, like, he never acted brand new. He didn't treat me different because I was a newbie coming up. But he always invited me to the studio, showed me hella respect. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, just... I was just in love with the production of everything, so he just always showed hella love to me. So for him to, you know, be up here means a lot. And uh, we appreciate your time. And we actually yeah. did a conversation with, with Lila interview um, the other day, but right. we just spoke about the project. So this mm-hmm. interview, I wanted to be more in depth for the people. So, okay, okay. You know? yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. For people that don't know Honorable Cena, you know what? <laughs> if y'all, y'all hear the tag, y'all gonna know. You know what I'm saying? But, um, sure. can, you, can you say some songs that you've done that mm. people probably be familiar with? Uh, ASAP Ferg, Future New Level, Migos, Freak No More. Um, that's a classic song, by the way. Do you know if you know if like the club con did like that's the that was a transitional song. That's the go to in Atlanta. You know what's so crazy? I was so locked in the studio, I didn't even get to experience that. For real. No, but you can still experience it though. That's no, what I'm I, I, to say. Yeah, I seen him perform it live uh, at, at like a birthday bash like uh, a year ago, and I was like, "Damn, I didn't know that this song was big enough when, um, to like perform Atlanta, at birthday yeah. bash." I was I, like, "Well, damn!" I, like, like it's I one know. of Atlanta records. No, like it that. is. They they played it at Magic when that shit first came out, bro. I swear, that's when they shit changed. That's when the Migos shit, shit changed. I didn't know. It you know changed. All right, so what else? I'm sorry. We got excited. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. Oh yeah. Trippy Red. Uh, Travis Scott, Dark Knight Dumbo, Travis Scott, Way Up, When My Boy Hit Boy, I did. Uh, the new Christina Aguilera record with Kanye West. Hold on, hold on, he just fucked uh, niggas head up with that word. another one, Mark Ronson, Alicia Keys, mm, True. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm all across the board, you know what yes. I'm saying? Man, uh, okay, one of my first personal favorites I have to say is Gucci Man Through With That Shit. Well, Gucci Lord, Man through with that shit, shit is that's motherfucking. My shit. That's <laughs> like one of my favorite beats ever. You feel yeah. me? That's uh, my that shit. That whole that whole era, you know For what I'm sure. saying? The, with the, you know the Brick Factory era was like. We had a whole bunch of uh, off the leash. Off the leash. But that song was so crazy. That song was crazy, yo. It changed. It changed a lot of shit. Yeah. That's what I'm I, saying. I, I feel like I, we heard. I changed a lot of shit a couple yeah. of times. Oh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, true, true, true. I ain't gonna lie. Like Talk every about year, your I grind, do some man. Because like we said, like we've been hearing your tag for so long. Yeah, so it gotta be at where least. Where did it all start from? Like ten years. It come. It came from like not wanting to go back to the hood or not wanting to fail. I was like, all right, you know, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna hustle no more. I'm gonna just do this. This is my hustle, and that's what I was dedicated to. And so I just work with my head down. I ain't never like look up. When, by the time I looked up, it was like I was up, but I ain't know I was up. <laughs> yeah, that's so how you hard. say you missed the whole. Song. Yeah, I that's missed. Right. I missed the whole couple well, summers. Right. Like 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 one time I was in the studio with Two Chainz, and, mm. and he just bought like he had a he bought a Maybach, and then he bought something else. I was like, damn, I can't wait till he made it, till I make it. And then he was like, mm. nigga, you made it. What are you talking about? And I was like. I had to sit down and reflect on that shit. Mm. Like, damn, like I am in the studio. Like, yeah, like Gucci. every day, like every day, I'm somewhere. I'm yeah. with Gucci. Or I'm with him, and I had to like really realize that like it, it didn't hit me. It ain't done to me. Mm. So I was just so used to you know when you hustling, you just be like, yo, that's, that's no lie you know, because you know what going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's no lie because you know what we always want more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like there'd be a time like we, you probably wished you was in the studio mm-hmm. with somebody, and then. Then it's some regular shit. Now you on to the right. next move. Yeah. But I think that's what keeps you hungry and humble yeah, too. Yeah, yep, you know yep, what I'm yep, saying? Yep, yep. That's well, but you exactly. do need to enjoy it too, bro. Don't like <laughs> enjoy it like. It's just like you know me coming from like that. You put you place yourself in these shoes, mm-hmm. and if you don't get exactly what's in your head, you kind of like miss the mark. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of like I'm king like that. You know I'm yeah. like I'm a sniper. Like if I need something, I'm gonna go get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I ain't get exactly at that point to me like some people are, oh you did a great but in my head i was like you failing nigga like go mm. get that shit go mm. get up in the morning it's time you know what i'm saying so 
Um, talk about that balance, cause you know I, I struggle with that a lot. I, you know I think what I mean? we all like that. Like, like yeah, like ourselves. you feel like you ain't doing enough, yeah. but. In all actuality, you really are. And people and looking at you like you winning. Like you made it. You like, right. nah, I gotta go to this house. Talk about that face. balance, man, because it's it's a it's, mental thing, and only you as a person can really go through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So talk about that. Uh, it was hard for me at first, man. But you know, when I introduced fasting in my life, it kind of helped me. It kind of mm. evened me out mm. from from that. You know what I'm saying? From understanding my, you know, what I'm saying place. Because you you would easily look at somebody else and be like, damn, that's. That's the, that's the mark, you know what I'm saying? Or that's where I want to be close to. But yeah. really, you got to start appreciating the um, where you at right now. Like, mm. You know what so I'm saying? So how do you think that helped you, though? Like, what, like what it just, did it, it, just, it just cleared your mind or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It just put you on a level that just, I can't even explain it. Like, niggas is going to do that shit. It's like, crazy just, because, like, I don't know. It level. just seemed like more than ever I'm hearing... I don't know if that's what I'm attracted or if that's just what yeah. people are about right now, but I'm hearing that more than ever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And just just even like eating right or meditation. Like I feel like I hear that stuff way more than I used to. Cause people woke now. People yeah. look into it more and learn. Like I don't know what it is, man. I think a lot the, of shit ain't good uh, for our mind. Yeah, like, but a lot of food. shit when I was a lot of shit when I was growing up. You're right. You didn't hear that shit. Nah. And, mm. and even the feelings that I that I feel like a lot of those. Like down feelings, you didn't feel those. Like yeah. I didn't feel those feelings coming up. It was I could have been broke and I was down, but I ain't feel like down. Like mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was yeah. like all right, I finna get up out this hole. Yeah. It was more like a aggressive. But now when niggas feel down, it's like a. I just think we had a different. It's different. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a different. Yeah, it's it different is, times. Then, you know what I'm saying? The I times think, just different. And we watch other people, and everybody look perfect online yeah, and shit. Yeah. So I think that's why we feel more depressed. Because we ain't here when really that person that looked perfect going through some shit of their own. You yeah, know what I'm hell saying? Yeah. But I think sometimes we tend to compare ourselves to other people yeah, yeah. a little more than before, maybe. But I said that to say that fasting make you, you That's think dope. about none of that. It's all about the, like, you speak what you want in existence and you go get it. And that's, that's why, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, what does that consist of for you, like, when you fast? Uh, I started off doing like um, like five days just water, no food, none of the water for five days. And that gotta be really like a mental thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, that? after you break past the threshold, it's kind of like whatever. I used to, you know, I used to be like almost five hundred pounds, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. And then I did another five days, and I did fourteen, and then one summer I, I did forty. All just water. Yeah. Look, I ain't gonna days. lie. This might sound calm, yeah. but like sometimes. People that are really overweight act like they can't do that. Yeah. Like I had me and my roommate. She was she she lost a lot of weight now, but bef- my old roommate. We try to do two days detox, and she was like, "Bro, you don't understand. Like I'm big. I need some food. Like even if it's, it's a mental thing. I swear to no, God, man. it's a mental thing. Like, it's like it's your that, body be crying. Yeah, it's yeah. different when you're big, man. It's but them is different, so man. How did you, like, <laughs> It's different. Nah, man. but I'm saying like, like even now, like even when me fasting now, like I'm on, on I'm on like a binge thing where I can't mm. stop eating shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It'd be like, damn, I need this. I, I didn't need, did like a juice detox. Like you a binge, and then after that, you yeah, 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 I'm like, I'm going, you gotta go crazy. Chicken. So so now, like a nigga like me that fast a lot, you know what I'm saying? I gotta like like whip my body into shape. Like no, yeah. nigga, this that's not we ain't going that way. So no, is it healthy to way. just drink water though? Hmm. Man, so listen, man, you're going to understand a lot about yourself that it's not in textbooks. That's mm-hmm. all I'm going to say. Like, you're going to start understanding the spiritual aspects of things. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, coming up, I was like, spiritual? What the fuck yeah. is spiritual? Mm-hmm. Like, right, get right. out of here with that. And then when you start doing that and you start, like, my first speaking, when you start speaking, like, like it was funny because I was fasting one time, but I was in my room when I be, I be by myself too when I fast. I just like, mm-hmm. you know what yeah, I'm saying? You kind of got a temptation be. or something of like, so yeah. I just like to be ducked off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of in my own little world. But I had thought about a Pepsi commercial. Just thought about it. Like, it'd be hard if I had a Pepsi commercial like Michael Jackson or something. Like, two months later, the sink came. The what? Like, the sink. Yeah. When, when, they, when they sink your music to a commercial, oh, okay. they give you a contract and be like, yo, this is. We're gonna use this song for this many seconds for this much money. That's crazy. Like it came. What song so was you, it? New level. Ah. That Kevin Hart commercial. Yeah, true. That's yeah. dope. So you yeah. done just you feel like you the law of attraction. Mm. You attract Ain't no the law. This is who you is. Mm. Yeah. Like I don't put no name on nothing no more. Yeah. Like us as humans, we try to put 
box stuff. It just is what it is. Mm. Like, I but you thought about it and you attracted it to you. Yeah, like it came, but yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's part of your being. Like you. And that's a real know, descriptive ass thought yeah. right there, yeah. too. And like, I did that a couple times. So. Wow. Yeah, we about so, to get in a box, nigga, and just fast, niggas. Right. Water, nigga, and I'm playing a role. Hey, man, it, no, but. <laughs> so real quick, like, because uh, it sounds like we know it's obviously not easy, but let's just say even in the hip-hop world, around everything we around, I know you say you kind of seclude yourself, but, like, are you still around people in the studio and stuff? Because, like, me thinking about doing that as a DJ, I just even just think about the clubs, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, so, yeah, I'm I'm different though. I ain't gonna lie. I I'll be secluded, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. I send beats off, but I ain't gonna okay. come around. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when you fast, you be sensitive to a lot of stuff, like smoke. Like, you sensitive mm-hmm. to the shit, so you don't. I don't be around it. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? And you're cautious yeah. enough to know. You know what I mean? Like you gonna be coughing all night. Your lungs well, is open. Everything. I was in uh, the club feeling crazy. Like I wanted to pass out. Like yeah. I almost mm-hmm. like about to faint. Yeah. All that Not smoke. Bad. Cause yeah. your body ain't a lot of stuff, and mm-hmm. then like even like that's how I became vegan. Like my body don't want it no more. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Like, that's after dope. my four, one of my fourteen day fasts, I went straight to Qdoba. I love. I used to love their uh. <laughs> yeah, what's the uh? The quesadillas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> murdered them. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> wait. Murdered them. <laughs> Boy, I Where? ate that mother. Folded it. me up. Yeah. Rejected mm. it. No more. It's over. Damn. That's so, well, I mean, that's, like that's awesome. Like you know, I need to put this liquor to it's the side. It's hard, though, man. Not well, me. I'll put a liquor to the side. It's hard, though, man. It's something that you got to really want to do, man. Right. You it's, know what I'm saying? It's something that I really want to do. You got to want to do it. No weed? Okay. After, the, after the 30 day fast I did in December, I ain't want to smoke no more. That is dope, bro. I salute no you weed, for that. No weed, no liquor. Still drinking. Can, um, but I feel you. So, you was at New Music Monday, you know, a coalition DJ. Big shout out to the coalition. Right, right. Um, and you got first of all, let's talk about your transition to being an artist. Mm-hmm. Do y'all know like he makes music now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, I know about him because he's come on the show. Yeah, had a riff on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so like he's actually an artist, and you actually did a song, "Red Beans and Rice," mm-hmm. and it sounds like a crazy title or whatever. But I think that song is so dope, and you kind of talk about yeah, just the unhealthy in a cool ass way though. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't. I don't even want to come off as no preaching ass nigga yeah. or something like, but it's something that it's my it's part of my path. Like you know when you're a producer and you like you want to make it. I just let I used to eat Taco Bell every day for like two three years straight. I gained five hundred like damn near five hundred pounds pre diabetic, high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? So as I was I was working on a movie, Shots Fire with uh, Sinan Lathan. I was working on this movie. Mm. They had a photographer and he was just taking pictures. I'm like, damn, I got that big. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, he be saying, Ain't like, it crazy how sometimes bitches make bitch. you like. So I was just looking at the, yeah, I was looking at the pictures like, know, man, I was man. mad as hell, yeah. man. I was like, man, I can't believe I let myself Ain't just go. So, tell you or nothing. No, everybody just trying to act cool, like man. I'm thinking I'm fresh to the bitch yeah. and everything. No, nigga, you ain't fresh. You silly as fuck. So, yeah, so, yeah, so I kind of like, I just started studying and then I came up on Dr. CB. And what he was talking about and how the, you know, government, so how the government tried to sue him and then he beat mm-hmm. the government because he cured people of AIDS mm-hmm. and all wow, this stuff. crazy, right? And so I wanted to cure myself of all these things because the pills they was having me take was having me feeling funny. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I just started eating right, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. just trying to not, it ain't happened just like that, but it happened after a course of, you know, just easing myself off of certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And fasting, fasting helped it a lot because... Your body gonna start rejecting, and you gonna get sick when you start eating certain stuff, and your body don't want it no more. I'm wow. just like, nah, I don't want that. Do you get sick like when you smell meat or some shit? Nah, nothing like that. Okay, I know people like, like, ah, oh, get that meat away from yeah. me. <laughs> no, they might be over. <laughs> they they a little dramatic. It might be over exaggerating. Right, you know like, I'm I'm nah, I read one time Maya was like, she can't date people who uh, yeah, eat they meat shit when, Damn. yeah, when they kiss and mm. when they, they she was like, stink, I can't man. handle that. Mm. When you don't eat meat, That's your shit crazy. don't stink. That's oh, crazy. you should have been told me that I wasn't vegan <laughs> right there. And everything when like when you become a vegan, you know, it don't stink no more. It just be like, yeah, that's the, that's so you kind of understand like, okay, now I got something right inside of me. Like, because you know yeah, toxins like you it's obviously yeah. That. And so it, of course it, it affect your the way of what you thinking. They don't want you, you know what I'm saying? Speaking things to existence like that. It's part of who you are though. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of stuff that they put in our food that they they don't allow in their food over there. 
That's why they food nasty. Like when you see people talking about going overseas, they're like, oh, don't go over Every there. Every time food I travel, is nasty, I don't man. like their food overseas, yeah, but I get but it. Yeah, I don't you like get it. it because our food over here, you used to the right, sugar, you used to the process. Yo, see, yep. no, we yeah, was just talking to Kissy Lee, right? She said that she just tried at KFC the <laughs> burger that got Cheetos on it. Oh. Like Cheeto chicken. <laughs> they right? some bullshit. I, 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 I said, I said, hey, no, I said hey, nobody man, would do that. But they, they definitely Cheeto hired a chicken. nigga in their upper office, man. They got, they got <laughs> but they not hot Cheetos. They got, Cheetos. Kids, they got a nigga in their upper office. Hey, man. Cheetos, right? Cheetos on a burger, man. That's gonna go crazy. Exactly. Niggas is gonna eat this shit up. Real shit. That was the whole pitch. Only niggas gonna die for it. Only America would do that, though. Only America do. I feel like, like that, yeah. Hey man, like I don't even think about that shit no more for yeah. real. Like I'm like, hey man, do what you do, I'm gonna do what I do. Yeah. Man. I ain't you know, I ain't judging, I ain't looking at you like you less of a right, right, person because right. you don't do it. It's just like shit. Nigga, if you wanna eat that shit, turn up. You know what I'm saying? But as for me over here, I like the I like the mode I'm in right now. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So let's get back into the music, though. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the music a little more. Yeah. Um, what does it look like, Cino being in the studio as a producer versus Cino being in the, in the studio as an artist? What's the difference? I, I feel like I've always been an artist. That was just something I had in the tuck. Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, like, as a producer, I think every producer can rap. But you know what I'm saying? True, I finally, true. I found my confidence when I, I got this cartoon that go crazy on the internet. Mm. Uh, uh, f- um what the, the fuck is that shit? Not the road Grand stone, Theft. right? Uh, no, I was no, say no, no. Grand Theft Auto in the hood. Mm. Okay. So we, Ooh, we play Grand crazy. Theft Auto. Uh, it's called Grand Theft Auto in the hood. We got this character named Bloody Freddy. Freddy Cougar, but he a blood. And then we got Jason here, <laughs> Crip. They be beefing with each other and shit. So, But Freddy Cougar, he rapped too. Oh, hell we, you, nah. got the, you got yeah, the you uh, Bloody the Freddy mixtape. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the so Halloween that's what, joint. That's what got me kind of like... Oh shit, that's like crazy. niggas fucking with this shit because the shit went viral. Oh, yeah. Every time we drop it, it's your voice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's me, so. like writing it. Me and my boy Israel eighty five. Shout out mm-hmm. to my dog. You know, you know we be on our comedy shit. Like we miss the boom docs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's coming back though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't yeah. wait. It's you know what I'm back. saying? But you know me as an entrepreneur, I wanted to do something like you know what I'm saying the boom doc. So we write our own stuff. We use that engine. You know what I'm saying? And it it go viral every time we drop it. That's mm, you know it's crazy, so, amazing. So that's what kind of cause they be demanding this nigga shit. Like mm. people tattoo Bloody Freddy lyrics on their arm and shit. Like but I that's got, you that's, you know, that's, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? It's 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 like me without a conscience. A, you know what I'm saying? Right. Man, it's that's it's crazy. like me. It's a reckless. It's the old. It's the young reckless. You me. can you can say what right. you want. You can but say you what you want to say. No yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. some that's dope a shit. That's a yeah, fact. So it's kind of like you know what I'm saying. You can you can design what this nigga say, and then I go in and rap about what we just mm. yeah. just went through, and he you know what I'm saying. That's He'll dope. tell you why he did it. Like so, they're like, oh man, Freddie the hardest. He be living his raps. You know what I'm mm. saying? That's so just like. It's just another another stream, man. Like you know, we like to hustle, Hell you know, different, yeah. you know, different avenues. So. For sure, for sure. Um, well, we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship in just a sec. But which artist would you say you know has brought your beat to life the best? Like, if you got to think about all the songs that you have been a part of, what what artist would you say brought your shit to life the best? Your I favorite? Think, I think when I go in as a producer, I don't think about. I think about. Me and an artist kind of like combined, you know. I, he uh, artist just ain't gonna just rap over my beat. Like mm. if I'm in the studio, we gonna bounce okay. ideas off each other to, to create to something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And some artists I work with better than you know other other artists. So you know what I'm saying? It's just I, I look at them all as like it's like or maybe best saying? chemistry or something. Or your the favorite best. song, your favorite song that an well, artist has created. If you had to pick a favorite. Sh- I got over I Come got on, thousands I know, I know of songs. You got songs. Like, Look, Cino, that's like, crazy. It gotta be bad. one or two songs like, that show shit. I, I like the that's that I I kind of don't like that question because nah, it be I'll hard. It be okay. hard for me to okay. to really because I'm always I'm I'm a forward thinker. I always I got gotta you. move to the next one. Like oh that was hard, but we gotta go over here. So you know right. what I'm saying. Okay. Like I liked it. I liked it. Uh, new level a lot. I knew that was gonna right. be a hit. You know what I'm saying. Mm. I liked a lot of stuff that me and Gucci did. You know what I'm saying? Swole Park and Shorty. That was another one I like. Swole Park and Shorty. It's another one. Um, backyard. Him and Dolph. Mm, mm-hmm. See, niggas slept on. Like I like the sleepers. Like not the bigger songs, that. but it's I some sleepers. That. Like that backyard. Him and Dolph went crazy on mm-hmm. that. But I know you probably like 
you know how you go to like a concert and you be like, damn, I forgot he, he got that song. I know you be listening to your shit like that. Damn, damn, I forgot about that beat. Yo. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a whole lot of them. Like yeah. the other day, I was walking out the store, somebody rolled past uh, playing Thug Ecstasy Pill. I forget we did Classic that. Like, Thug. You know That's World World Three Gucci Man. <laughs> yeah, That's you know a classic. Hell you yeah. You beating that? I was like, damn, I forgot all about that. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's just like, do you um, damn. if you feeling one beat better than another beat, do you uh, charge different? Like uh. Get this one out of here, but this one I know this about to smack. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm like that's petty, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I got. No, I need fifty thousand for this one. This <laughs> right. I need your, I need your silver package. I know you want to make a million yeah. off this. This is right here. The platinum package. I need a hundred grand. I need the for silver this package. Yeah. I can't afford your silver package. <laughs> you keep any beats for yourself and not like to give them away. Oh, uh, when I, when I, you know, it's hard because like sometimes when I make beats, they don't talk to me. Mm. Like that's why half of my project you got producers on it be because critical, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like they will send me something and they'll talk to me. Like like I learned that a lot from artists. Like they don't force it. Like you had to talk to them. You got to mm. like but certain beats dope. call in on you. You be like, mm. oh okay. You know what I'm saying. Like all my beats don't do that for that's me. It can dope. be hard, but it's still it won't talk to me. Mm. It's not for me. And you know I know uh, Big Crit was just talking about that. Like how he was producing all his shit, and now like this time he finally let like other people come in, mm-hmm. and it just brought a different you know aspect. Yeah. And I think if you a rapper, like yeah, you. Sh- you know, maybe just focus on that for that moment. I mean, of course, if something speaks to you that you made, but, yeah. you know, um, I respect that because I, I think he was so caught up in mm-hmm. his, like, production and stuff yeah. that, you know, you kind of limit yourself at some time. You, you know do. what I mean? You so do. That's dope. And I feel, I feel like that, but I kind of take the, 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 you know, some people, they get two beats from me. I have a very distinct sound, so they take mm, two or three true. beats from me and then go elsewhere for the other Mm-hmm. For 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 the right. other vibes, and I kind of just took the same thing because I know I got a distinctive sound. Like definitely, it's you know, all my sounds is <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's like, like, yeah. that's how you be thinking that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I be going crazy. So it's just like you you know you can't have. I don't know, man. I I, I like a variety too anyway. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I, I I pick real good beats. You know yeah, and uh, one thing that you um at new music monday that you talked about and then you actually showed us that interlude i believe it was oh, yeah, Uncle Lee like Lee. how you said like which after you said that and listening to that was crazy that yeah. that you bring the sounds to life i guess like it's a real feeling mm-hmm. and um what's the what's it's an album yeah yeah yeah. what's it the called EP? signs yeah. signs y'all yeah. need to listen to that because it's like a thunderstorm and yeah. you could just feel like, but then you know the beat about to build it. It's, it's like, like oh, shit. Yeah, it's, yeah. Gonna take, it's gonna take you through all, it's gonna take you all through that. Like back in the day, like, you know, I studied music. So back in the day, they didn't even have like lyrics on music. They just had music. So you had Beethoven, all these people, you know, they have like a whole crowd of people and they just listen to them and play the feeling. piano with this and the feeling and they would really get to fighting in the middle of these niggas because they understand what these niggas was, you know what I'm saying, doing with their music. That was before Knuck like, If You Buck, y'all. Like, it was before, for real, before all that. Like, niggas, yeah, I talked to them, slapping yeah. niggas in the Nah, but club. that's what you, <laughs> like, but, I, but you know what like, music can really definitely, like, give you feelings, like, even just, just beats in general yeah, and stuff like fact. that. That's how people, like, it's crazy also, like, this is a question I have. As a producer, right, a, so, a, a beat might give you one feeling, but if you give it to an artist, they might have like it might be like a deep song to you, mm. and they might say some like whole other shit. Do you be <laughs> like, nah, that's the not time. the? Do you be like, that's not the feel I was going for? Or you just nah, let them do it. I just let them do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I ain't hear nothing to it. So yeah. if you like it, I love it, man. Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? It went to a, at, at a point like if I if I really fuck with it, I'll be like, yeah, it's hard because I, I learned not to have a um. Not to have a thought towards it, like you know what I'm saying. Like, to let I it do. go once you, like, yeah, because like, you don't know what it's gonna do. Yeah. You know, like so many times, I, I, uh, like we'll be in the studio when I was younger, and I'd be in the studio and like somebody would be playing a song, and I'd be like, man, this shit's some garbage, man. Like I hate that shit, man. And that shit turn around and be a hit, yeah. like a mega hit. Like then I'd be like. I'm confused, so I just learned to shut the fuck up. And I just think we all. Up, man. Nah, that's true though. A lot of people say that. Artists say that a lot. Yeah, like, I just learned to they like, didn't like just, that song. It took off. Like, what? And it t- every time, like yeah. we'd be in the studio and something come on, I'd be like, man, this shit suck. Like I don't like it. Like and then it. Psh. That'd be the one. 
It'd it's be crazy. the big one. And then the ones that you think, oh, this is hard, it'd be like, yeah. Don't do nah. shit. Nothing. Ain't nothing going That's on. That's why I be it. telling artists, like, hey, let some other people in the room, not just your yes man, neither, like, some DJs or whatever in the room, because sometimes the artists are committed, like, they're yeah. attached to something that really ain't all that, but it might be really deep to them. Yeah, or, because it's in they, they in their feelings. Yeah. That's why when I played the music at the uh, Coalition DJs, yeah. and they kind of got, I was like, damn, they fuck with it, because it was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't really let nobody hear it at first. I just put it together and said, I'm finna go. I'm gonna put it out and and like I, I was I was happier to uh, you know what I'm saying the results yeah. that I got so hell yeah um see so, you know what's some what's some tips for entrepreneurship you know I think a lot of people especially with the youngsters um even you know when I was you know younger mm-hmm. you don't realize that you got to do other things outside of just you know your music and stuff that you love to do yeah. so what's some tips for entrepreneurship for, from you uh find something in the market that the market missing and attack it hmm. period like if something like if something is lacking in your market or if you could just be chilling you can hear somebody be like oh man i wish that this 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 mm. that's how i usually catch up on shit like i could be somewhere and somebody be like man i hope i wish that this was that mm. and i'll be like damn you're right and i go do it like you know what i'm saying it's kind of like my like thing i like you always have to invest in yourself and you got to take the l's that come with it but if you stick with it it's going to turn over if it's in your heart to keep going you know what i'm saying That's mm. a you definitely gotta you definitely gotta follow your heart like if it's just something you want to do for a quick lick it might work it might not but if it's in your heart to do i believe that it's meant for you to do it you know what i'm saying mm. it's in well, your path shit. to do it and so that's how I, I i don't i look at it like that like you know in that type of sense like you know what i'm saying like damn this is missing uh, all right how can i apply mm. how can i apply something to the market that's that's the, that the people is going to need mm not actually want like i think a lot of us when we invest in things we we have things that people want music mm. that's something that a nigga might want mm-hmm. he don't want but i think about if i'm going to invest in something what are people going to need mm. like you can't hate on it because you need it yeah. like, you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying you can't hate on like uh housing management you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. Like shit, if I can uh, if I can supply this for a cheaper price and make this happen, you're gonna need that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's it's about it's about finding out what people need and it's gonna overturn for you. Like people need beats. I started off rapping. That's a fact. But people need rappers need <laughs> beats. They do. Shit, I, <laughs> you know, I what manage saying? artists and that be the dilemma sometimes. Like nigga, you ain't got no hard beats. ass beats for uh-huh. real. That's true. So That's yeah. a fact. That shit weird. You know, I know a lot of rappers no that beats. turn to producers because they just want to produce for themselves. Yeah, because mm. you need like that's yeah. something that you need. Like, <laughs> need beats. Anything that Good I invest production. my time in is something that people gonna need. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when we was That's young, smart, though, when we yeah. selling dope, fiends needed yeah, that they shit. They gonna get sick. You know what I'm saying? If you like people need like like if you look at like billionaires, they invest in things that people need. It's a necessity. Mm. Us as uh like the urban area, we invest in things that people want. Are we gonna we gonna play basketball? That's yeah, entertainment. Heard that. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or well, I'm a rapper. Well, I'm a producer. That's like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something that people kind of want, but they can like do away with you. Yeah. And in a minute, nigga can start selling air. Nigga, you need air. Nigga, I'm finna hustle this shit. Yeah, like, I heard all that. Nigga, get some air. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga, yeah, nigga rich as fuck. Right. What, what's his name? Damon yeah. John, I think, that on FUBU. That's what he was mm. saying. I don't, I think that's his name. Um, that's what he was saying, like, as far as investments. Oh, like, shark tank, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. invest in stuff that, like, you really like. And that if, if it went away, you would be stress like instagram why mm-hmm. not like if instagram shut down you would be stressed the hell out or yeah. something like that yeah, so yeah, they yeah. was like or i'm um, uber or something mm. like that like think about it, like if it goes something away you ain't you know be, you needed that if, like <laughs> damn i do need that though. if it goes yeah. away you would you be stressed gone, like mm. damn yeah right. like, it'll, it'll, that's, like, why, that's why like, y'all yeah. need to invest in weed because <laughs> y'all will be stressed nah, I'll be good. <laughs> look she's stressed right now like <laughs> <laughs> so look, so you know, we got one final question for you. You know, yeah. I asked you this on the conversations with Lila, but we want to know what the word progress means to you, man. Like, you know, we talk about growth getting better and all that good stuff. So, what does the word progress mean to Honorable C Note? Progress means moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Like inch by inch. It ain't got to be like no big thing, but it could be like evolving. You know what I'm saying? You're evolving as a person. Like 
If you used to like do things that you know that used to hold you back and you figure that out and you don't do it no more because you want to move forward, that's progress. You know what I'm saying? It's always moving forward. Progress. That way. Respect. That way. Well, man, that let way. them know your social media handles and where can they Real easy for you niggas. Honorable C note everything, man. Follow me. <laughs> Some niggas don't, I don't know niggas don't know how to spell honorable that so is, hey. is, I swear on know, everything niggas true. do not spell honorable, it is man. Spell honorable oh, bro. Bro. Don't even look him up if you don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Y'all probably not. Put it back. Don't even type it in. <laughs> Y'all not put, on the same page. Nigga, it's R-O, not R-A, my oh. nigga. R is not it's R O not R A. I can't even imagine how they cause I'm that I'm niggas. Niggas is me. I don't put that shit all up. Niggas and niggas is me. Niggas is me. I don't know what's going on. Cut the mic off, please. Niggas will fuck honorable all the way up. They done good it, man. Nah, but thank you so much. And like everything you talking about from a lifestyle to your career is motivating and inspiring. And I think people need to understand that they do go hand in hand. Like you got, you know, to get your business right, you got to kind of get your mind right, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. So. That, that, come, that come one of the things. That's yeah. that's one of the things that come with evolving, man. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Progression. You got some animals that evolve. You got some animals that become extinct. Okay. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> they done died off. Okay. God damn it. But, man, make sure y'all download that or stream that new album, Signs. Honorable C-Note. Go get that. Support. Yeah.